Hello from the Viral Academy in Oldenburg. A warm welcome. In today's video we want to talk about three products that often cause problems in a 6-speed DSG gearbox of the type DQ250. This gearbox is installed in many vehicles of the Volkswagen Group, for example, but also in many other vehicles. One common problem can be seen very clearly from the outside. A leaking oil pan. On the one hand, it is leaking here at the seal. On the other hand, it is already heavily rusted. In many cases they also rust through and here we have a solution for you. This is one of our expert kits. Suitable for this vehicle. Included in this expert kit is a new oil pan with a new seal. Also enough oil for a gearbox oil change and a filter. Then you have everything back in order. Before we start with all the work, it is important that we carry out a short test for the automatic gearbox with a commercially available diagnostic tester and see if there are any errors stored there. For the time being, no problems are indicated on this gearbox. Here you can see how the rust has worked its way from the edge to the seal, and then it starts to leak. In order to remove the mechatronics properly, the oil pump cover must be removed from the front of the gearbox. There is a guide bar on the mechatronics here. This must not be damaged when dismantling the mechatronics. Here you can see the vulcanized rubber seal, which is only to be used once. Here you can see the sliding piece of the mechatronics. It must snap into place here. The lugs must not break off in the process. The next step is to disconnect the cable or the plug from the combined clutch, gearbox, oil temperature and gearbox input speed sensor. Go behind it with the screwdriver and press the lug against it and then pull it off. Then it has to be put out of the receptacles here and put to the side. This prevents damage by pinching the cable. Dann muss er hier aus den Aufnahmen rausgefädelt werden und zur Seite gelegt werden, dass er nachher beim Einbau nicht da eingeklemmt wird und vielleicht beschädigt wird. In order to remove the mechatronics properly, it is important not to loosen all the screws, but only those specified by the manufacturer. Please look at the picture here and only loosen these 10 screws and no more. Before I remove the mechatronics, I should ground myself as a mechanic. I always do that with my elbow because I have rubber gloves. Then, when dismantling, you have to make sure that the encoder arm of the mechatronics is pulled straight out. You can leave it carefully to loosen it. It's actually always quite quick and easy to do. Then you have to pull it straight out. It is very important not to tilt. So, und dann muss ich das gerade rausziehen. Ganz, ganz wichtig, dass ich den nicht verkannte, den Geberarm. The second special feature we want to go into in this video is how to change this board. To disconnect the connector, I put a screwdriver in between here. 
Then I push in here and can disconnect the connector. So it's already disconnected the circuit board from the electronics unit. Then I would get my colleague to help me, because it's easier to work with two people. One holds the board and the other fixes it. When putting on the new board, be careful and pay close attention to the contacts. All contacts should be straight. Then the board can be carefully pressed down. If the board snaps in cleanly, you can start screwing it in. Dass die überall sauber einrastet. Und dann erst die Schrauben ansetzen. It is important that we also renew the two sealing rings on the plug that go through the oil pan. Now we have replaced both seals. The electronic unit on top of this board is replaced and the plug connection is plugged in again. Now we can reinstall the complete mechatronics. Johannes, can you help me reinstall the mechatronics right now? You wait a moment when we have the mechatronics out. We can show you how to replace the combined clutch oil temperature and gearbox speed sensor. Why can't you get it out without having the part inside? Because it sits behind here. Let's have a quick look. It's up here. That was the pipe that we unclipped earlier and put up. It sits in here from the side and is only secured with a screw. Here we have the sensor in question. We have it under the number V1072-1277. I'll unpack it. There is the good piece with the connection cable and here is the hole for the screw. Simply remove the protective cap and install it as I said earlier. Mit dem Anschlusskabel und hier die Bohrung für die Schraube. Einfach Schutzkappe entnehmen und wie vorhin gesagt einbauen. Again, the manufacturer's prescribed torque is important here. When installing, make sure that we are sitting straight in front of the company, because otherwise the components could tilt. This must then lock into place. When tightening, follow the manufacturer's sequence and, of course, the torque. Important, always use new bolts when fitting the new oil sum. These are included in the expert kit. Die natürlich in dem Kit mit enthalten sind. Here we have the new star or oil pump cover with the seal. The best thing to do is to spray it with our silicone spray and then fit it. And always tighten the screws crosswise. Und die Schrauben immer über Kreuz anziehen. Fertig ist. That's it. Don't forget to reassemble the turbo hose. We have removed it so that it is easier to reach. Den haben wir uns da weggenommen, damit man da besser rankommt. Now we'll show you a simple method for checking whether the circuit board is the part that caused the damage. You can easily check for continuity by laying down the removed circuit board, 
connecting a multimeter and then looking for the corresponding pins and checking them. Here is an example. There is continuity here, so the contact is clean. But I can also check it again here in front. There are several possibilities on the board where I can follow the path of the cable. Our recommendation, when the work is finished and everything is assembled, always carry out a quick test of all the control units to see if there are any faults that need to be cleared. We hope this video was informative for you. In this video, we wanted to show you how to dismantle the oil pan and how to access the mechatronics. This will then allow you to replace the circuit board that we supply. In addition, once the mechatronics have been removed, we wanted to show you how to access this combined sensor, which I believe should then be replaced prophylactically at the same time. Of course, there are many other reasons why a gearbox doesn't work properly. But these are things that go into the area of gearbox repair. If you liked this video, please send us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, send us a comment and stay healthy.